Welcome back to HPL. We're at the PvP Live Studios in Frisco, Texas. And you know what? Zelay just got a 1-0 lead over Green Sheep here. Green Sheep a little under the weather, but he's still going to fight hard and fight through here. He needs three more Zelay, only two. Yeah, you're the kind of player who's going to persevere for stuff, or you're going to be the player who pummels your opponent at any stage of the way. You can get out there on Twitter and use that hashtag HPL. Let us know how your play style matches up with maybe some of the players that are in this match. But game two sounds like it's getting ready and ready to get underway. They Maybe they've made some changes. I don't know, but we're going to find out because game two, Zelay and Green Sheep is getting underway. Zelay looks like he's running back. Uh, ooh, maybe not running it back. This one has a Ragnaros. This looks more like Handlock or... Mo no, know, no, no. He's running it back. I mean, Mountain Giant and Ragnaros were totally in his zoo deck. <laughs> <laughs> Green and then Green Sheep going back to his, uh, to his roots here. Yeah, super Green aggressive. And we've seen this every single time someone ends up getting in a little bit of a disposition. They'll go with what they're comfortable with and try to get the game done there. And that's an acidic swamp ooze in Zelay's hand. If he finds a weapon to pick off with that, I think he could be sitting well. But I can tell you, if there's a matchup that doesn't look good, it's hunter aggressive hunter decks versus handlock you know what you also could be seeing from green sheep here is the uh the dog method when you're a little sick just play aggressive play aggressive play aggressive try to get this over with as soon as possible yeah i mean sometimes reckless aggression is a very strong strategy especially against people who maybe aren't quite as prepared so is going to have sun fury protector and ancient watcher so going to be able to stifle a lot of this pressure but will that be enough to fend off green sheep second haunted creeper getting added to the board this knife Juggler, looking like it's going to have some pretty saucy turns here. Ooh, Whoa! Fire Beak Owl picked up as well. Yeah, now this is really interesting because before he was looking at Sun Fury Protector uh, and just, you know, sit behind this, but he also had the option to, to use the Iron Beak Owl and then Mortal Coil this turn. Going to continue to play it defensively, understands that he doesn't necessarily need to waste Iron Beak Owls. They're very strong against minions like Mad Scientist, maybe even strong just against a Haunted Creeper coming here on this next attack from the Sun Fury Protector. And Green Sheep really has a big turn in front of him. How exactly does he want to play this? Yeah. He's got to figure out how he gets through this Ancient Watcher. He's got a quick shot. He's got to unleash the Hounds to get through a couple more, but then he can't get through the Ancient Watcher. He's got a Knife Juggler and start to run these Haunted Creepers in and hope that your juggles work out. That one doesn't seem like it's super safe, uh, but he's just going to hear a power pass here. Yeah, I might end up getting a little bit punished for this too. Honestly, I think I would have liked to see the Knife Juggler. You know, we've talked a lot about forcing people to have the right cards. I think this is a perfect opportunity for him to kind of force Zelay to have answers uh, to everything that's happening. Because, you know, a bunch of 1-1s on the board, being able to chew through that Ancient Watcher, getting four extra points of damage out of your minions, that looks beautiful to me. Yeah, I think I would have gone with the, uh, the Knife Juggler and just, you know, hoped it all worked out from there. But Zelay's going to be able to really, uh, you know, push forward here and sort to get a hold of this match since Green Sheep didn't really do a whole lot last turn. You know, he just got in two damage, but, you know, didn't progress his board at all. You know, he's just hero powered and passed. Yeah, I mean, I think he's kind of looking forward to a knife juggler and at least the hound's turn. The fact that Zelay has developed his board early, really giving Green Sheep the idea that, uh, you know, he's going to have a lot of minions out, so having opportunities to get more value. And then the other thing that's happened too now is now that we've seen this web spinner, the Lotheb, and the freezing trap, this is actually more of a mid range version that Green Sheep is playing. So the patience here actually probably pretty vital to his strategy. Yeah, he's probably going to take it a little bit slower because he has stuff like Savannah High main in his deck. He has some top end to really get into. And again, he has some really good turns next turn as well. He's got Unleash the Hounds plus Knife Juggler or Lotheb whichever one he wants, but I got to believe it's going to be Unleash the Hounds and Knife Juggler. Yep, so just going to go with Web Spinner here, getting two more points of damage. And now Zelay once again have with a pretty heavy initiative on board. Uh, going to take his time. This is something he always does, is be very mindful of the way he plays. Very calculated. Yeah, very that. stoic, yeah. Yeah, is, you know, he's the kind of player who's going to find windows of opportunity to be aggressive. And look at this, Lothab straight away, and going to start pushing the action. No trades from him. Yeah, love this. It's not only a super aggressive play, but it takes away a lot of plays from Green Chief. Doesn't get to do a lot of things like unleash the hounds. Yeah, I'm going to answer with his own Lothab, though. You know, one of the best ways to fight against Lothab, you know, fight fire with fire. It's kind of what they've said here. And Green Sheep going to add Lothab to the board. Lothab me, I Lothab you. <laughs> and hope to get things done here. But Zelay, again, fantastic options from him available pretty much across the board. Yeah, and this Ancient Watcher, I mean, it hasn't even been attacked yet this game. It has saved so much damage. Yeah, it has been watching uh, for a very long time so far, since the ancient days. One might say even, but this is kind of a spot now that Zelay has this big lead. I mean, he may choose to start simplifying this board position and make sure that Green Sheep can't ever build up enough board tension that he can have one of those big turns and punish Zelay for it. So I wouldn't be surprised to start seeing a few trades here. Yeah, I agree with you. I wouldn't be surprised to see a couple uh, trades from Zelay as well. You don't want to have something like Knife Juggler Unleash the Hounds happen to you, and he even has a Hunter's Mark in his hand as well, so he can have a big turn with his Knife Juggler next turn. But it matters how much damage Zelay wants to push forward, you know, what he gets off this draw. Ooh, Hellfire picked up. It's kind of interesting, but I think with this board position, Hellfire's going to be tucked in the back pocket for quite a while. 
Yeah, absolutely. You know, he still has his acidic swamp boost if he wants to get really aggressive here, but again, that plays into the Unleash the Hounds. He can put a defender of Argus into play and really beef up his guys. He can make his Lothab a 6-6 and his Angel Watcher a 5-6 and really trade in his low that, but it looks like he's just going to push a ton of damage. Wow, here. so damage going to come crashing in from Zalea. I mean, we talked about how aggressive he was. He's trying to seize the full opportunity right now. He says, you know what? If you've got Knife Juggler and Leash the Hounds, let's see you make big use of it right now. Yeah, I mean, you couple of this Hunter's Mark Green Sheep can make some progress on this board, and he needs a lot of progress. The thing is, he has to he has to kind of attack in a weird way here. He needs to get some of his minions off the board before he unleashes here. I think he's going to be able to do it, though. You know, plenty of ways to really fight through this. You may not actually necessarily see Unleash the Hounds this turn. He's going to start with the Web Spinner, get a little bit of information. Uh, we saw that one take out Firebat in the World Championships. You know, Silverback Patriarch was about the only minion that could be grabbed to keep him from winning that game. But I don't suspect Silverback Patriarch's going to be doing too much work in this game. And so now, once again, has to be very calculated in his turn and make sure he doesn't misstep at all because every single point of damage right now is vital when Zelay's applied this kind of pressure. Yeah, this turn is super complicated. You have a lot of different attacks that can go through. Plus, you have something like Unleash the Hounds. You have the extra juggles off of a ton of different ways you can do it here. Yeah, you're going to see the Unleash the Hounds here, and he's going to get all the extra information. He needs these animations to hurry up, though. Wow. He's running out of time. Hey, the time actually a really big factor here. One of the juggles going to face. I mean, he has to have thought this out. He's only got a few seconds left to really act on this. And did he get in enough attacks in time? Yeah, I don't this know is, if he's going to get in all of his attacks yeah, here. This is really close. Looks like he just all this damage went for the dome. Does trade off yeah. with the uh, Defender of Argus here, but now uh, Zalei faced with a big turn in front of him. I mean, he's got a great Hellfire here if he yeah, wants this it. Hellfire now suddenly looks beautiful, but you know, does he want a Hellfire straight away? He's got plenty of other options in his hand as well. Yeah, he's got a couple, a couple other options. He's got a Mortal Coil to take care of this Lothab. He can just eat the Knife Juggler from there and then use something like Sun Fury Protector to help protect himself from there. He's got, you know, uh, he can do a Mountain Giant play as well with his Mortal Coil, but I gotta believe he's gonna do something about a lot of these minions on the board. He can't let these stick around forever. Yeah, I mean, the fact that he can just go five to face Hellfire and then still have a minion on the board afterwards, I mean, what better of a turn, I guess, can you ask for? Yeah, that's, I think, what's gonna happen here. We're gonna continue to take his time, as always. Not necessarily just thinking through this turn, but thinking out his future turns as well. He decides on the Hellfire. Uh, I think a big question here is whether or not he's gonna life tap. He actually goes with Sun Fury Protector Yeah, I like here. this play here. I, I would Sun Fury Protector here as well. You get to play around a couple of uh, charge threats, and you just get another minion on the board. Now you have seven power, and uh, consequently, it does well against Freezing Trap as well. It also does well against the fact that Green Sheep has seven life. So to force him into a position where he has to do something about this, wonderful play from Zelay. But there is a little bit of a risk here now. You know, if, if Green Sheep can recover this spot, he's looking like he's poised to win. Zelay's down to 15 already. Yeah, Zelay is down to 15 already, and he gets to take care of this Lothab pretty easily. It's going to be interesting to see if he does Freezing Trap this turn. i got to believe you have to. You just can't take the extra damage here or, uh, or the hero powers. I, 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 I think believe. I like the hero power, yeah. Okay. The squeeze in damage, I mean, this is the point where you have to start putting something together. Uh, you know, Zelay's deck doesn't have a ton of burst damage in yeah, it. Giving him a well, you know, <laughs> that is a little bit of burst damage available now. Either one of these shots from Ragnaros are going to look fantastic for him. This game could be ending right now. You can even see Green Sheep a little bit under the weather, and this may put him a little bit more down. This Ragnaros shot goes to the dome, and Zelay is going to take a 2-0 lead. Either of the hits from that Ragnaros are totally fine with him. He doesn't have to attack with Ragnaros, so he can't even, not even protect protected by Freezing Trap is Green Sheep. Zelay gets out to an early start. Ancient Watcher, coupled with Sun Fury Protector, staves off all of Green Sheep's pressure and even survives a massive Knife Juggler Unleash the Hound's turn. Takes complete control of the game and ends it with big damage. Yeah, Zelay up 2-0 here already very quickly in this match. And you got to believe Green Sheep, you know, he's like, let's just get it over quickly one way or the other. If I, <laughs> I either want to win quickly or lose quickly so I can go to bed, get some sleep and feel better in the morning, you got to feel for this kid, you know, really, really, uh, you know, sticking through it, persevering through here, even though he's under the weather. Love seeing it from him, but it hasn't gone his way in these first two games. Yeah, if you guys want to check out the recap for this game, you can head over to pvplive.net and see for yourself. Zelay in this game showed you maybe exactly how you're supposed to beat Hunter when you're playing Handlock. Don't invest in those turn four minions. Kind of get the pressure rolling soon uh, and make sure that you're able to stabilize on board. You can also see their full competitive breakdowns and how they've played in the past. They're making some more changes to their decks right now. That's the HGL, HPL format. They can play whatever they want at any time. And when we come back, Game three is going to be getting underway. Zelay sits on match point and Green Sheep. Maybe he can complete his second reverse sweep here in HPL. Don't go anywhere, guys. You're watching Hearthstone on PvP Live.